So this is Catchy OS, and there's some categories here, documentation, support, project. I'll launch the installer. So here you have to choose the bootloader, and the default is Grub. So the language is already selected, American English. So this is location, this is correct. This is the keyboard language. I'm going to leave it as English US. So here is the partition section. So I have a previous installation on this hard drive. I'll choose erase this. And these are the options here. BTRFS is the default. So I'll leave it at BTRFS. I'm not going to encrypt the system. So here I have to choose the desktop environment. And these are the options here. So Plasma Desktop is the default. So it gives a preview on the right side. I'm going to leave it as Plasma Desktop. These are additional packages. So here you can check on uncheck packages that you would like to install. So I'm going to leave everything as default. I'll create an account. So the password is too short. So it says here use the same password for the administrator account. I'm going to leave that checked. So this is an overview. I'll click install. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart the computer. I'm going to log in. So I'll click on tweaks. So here I have some options, system update, reinstall all packages, reset keyrings, clear package cache, remove orphans, install gaming packages, install snapper support, rank mirrors. I can also change the DNS server here. So right now the default is Cloudflare. I can change this to any one of these. For example, Cloudflare, malware, and adult content blocking. And this will filter malware sites or adult content sites. I'm going to leave it at Cloudflare. There's the package installer. So I can install more packages here. And they are listed by categories, for example, browsers. I'll click on Internet. This is Office. And these can be installed. Here's also the kernel manager. And here you can install or uninstall kernel packages using the checkboxes. I'll click on the application launcher. So this is all applications. Development. Graphics. This is internet. Multimedia. This is system. This is utilities. So when I move the mouse at a faster speed, it increases the size of the cursor. I can turn that off. I just have to go to accessibility. This is shake cursor. I'll uncheck it. So now the shake cursor is off.
So I'll open system settings. I'll click on wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers. So I'll right click the panel, click on show panel configuration. I can adjust the panel height here. I can also position the panel. I just have to click on the position tab and click on these arrows. I'll move the panel to the right and it's here. I'm going to leave it at the bottom. I can also add or manage widgets. So I'll check the kernel version. I'll type uname R. So the kernel version is 6.17.9. So I'll check the session type. So it's Wayland. So LibreOffice is not installed by default. I'm going to install LibreOffice. I'll open the package installer. So under Office, I'll look for LibreOffice. There's also only Office. So LibreOffice is being installed. Okay, so it's done. So I'll go to Office and LibreOffice is here. And this is the version. So VLC Media is not installed. I'll type VLC. So it's not installed. So I'm going to install VLC Media Player. I'll type this command, sudo pacman, uppercase S, VLC. So now VLC Media is installed. So if you want to install more packages, you can also Go to this website, AUR Home, and you can search, for example, Chrome. So this is the Files Manager. I have some pictures here. So on the lower right side, there's a date and time, status and notifications, network icon, screen brightness adjustment. This is the volume icon. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. I'm going to open system settings and I'm going to scroll down and under apps and windows, I'll click on Windows Management. I'll select Virtual Desktops. So right now there's one Virtual Desktop. I'm going to add five more and it's going to show up on the panel. So it's here. And I'm going to select Desktop Effects. Scroll all the way down and under Window Management, I'll select Cube. So this is enabling the Cube feature. I can also add some apps on the virtual desktops.
keys. So to show the cube feature on the keyboard, I'm going to hold the super key and the C key. So this is the cube feature. So to get out of this, just click anywhere on the space. So this was just a quick overview of the new Catchy OS. So these are some of the specs. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.